evening, night, morning, afternoon, evening, night, morning, afternoon. A circle of time around the clock. No noon, midnight, noon, midnight. And we are just breathing in, breathing out. <laughs> I don't want to be negative, but I wonder. Time goes so fast and what is happening? What has happened since yesterday and now? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happened. I wonder why is this all going round, going round, going round? <laughs> Morning, evening, night, midday, morning, we're all round. It's a play, but who knows the player? <laughs> and when it's a play, you play it for fun. But where is the fun? You know, you know that this body going through the times not the things, but the times, um, is going without possibility to, to, to stop. It is, it is going on to the end of itself. <laughs> yeah. And then when you think you are this body, most of the time you feel it and you act and you move. So you think this is it, this is me. And you know that you are going to end. And you can oh stop my uh, stop no you are even stopping you are going on. So what to do? If you think you are this, there's a sort of fear. I am going to stop to be ended. How will it be? And that's when you think. Your mind says you are this body, but you deep inside, beyond the mind, there is this knowing, knowing, not snowing, but knowing <laughs> that you don't exist, that you only see your, this puppet called me, is walking in a, in a dream, in, in a movie. So you are not the person going to its own end, but you are the, the watcher, the seer. And actually, you are just, there is no no one seeing, There's, there is only seeing without a person or a form or that seeing sees the movie pass by, morning, evening, night, midday, morning, going up, going into bed, standing up, and the, the seeing is aware of that, it, it is, it knows. And it can already see the end. While you, when you think you are in a body, you know that you're going forward to your own end, but you cannot see it. So then there's the big question, why is this game going on? And it is for fun to enjoy it. But while you are in the game and thinking you are the one, there's no joy. You know you are going to end. So what's the fun of it? But the fun of it is not that you are going to the end or that you... Are. No, the fun is the end of all this. There is the fun. To reach the reality of you seeing all this and then there is... There is no person anymore, but there is no one there but seeing. And seeing has no form and no eyes and no hands to stop doing something or to act or to go it fa faster or to hold it back. It's the witness. And that's what you are. You witness your own death. You will witness your own death as... Also, you witnessed your own birth, but it was not real. You put on the television and you sit and witness the movie on the television. And then you know, oh, 10 minutes and then the, the movie is finished. Five minutes, boom, the end, fin, 
it says Finn. And then the movie is gone and you witnessed it. And that's when you witness your own life, being born, walking around, acting, thinking what to do. Oh, I'm going to blah, 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 all this blah, blah, blah. And then the end of it is the big fun. The big fun. Ha, <laughs> ha, I made it. I reached myself again. I was not that puppet there. I was not in the movie. I was watching the movie. And that's the fun of the whole play. To, to end it. <laughs> to see what you are. <laughs> it's a stupid game. But it is... <sighs> Luckily it's not real. It is just fantasy. You watch fantasy and then you stop watching but the seeing remains. Nothing more to see. Ah, finally peace. Bye bye. And another day in the play. <laughs> Most people don't know that this life is a play. And that the creator of the play is deep inside them. And they think this play is the what they know. The only thing they know is this play. And um, what they do is to try and stay as long as possible in this play. They do whatever they can to keep on playing. <laughs> it's ridiculous because you are the object in your own play. You are the creator of the play of the day. And you think it's real and you do your utmost to stay in between the ups and downs that it gives. The play is always up and down. It's never stable. But when you return to your real self, then you are in the equal good uh, Being consciousness of things that, that is the person. Oh, I'm uh, feeling this or I know that or I have to go there. That's all appearances in the consciousness. But there is something much deeper. It is your awareness. It is free of whatever ha happens. But it is aware of the consciousness in the person that thinks I have to do this or I will do that that's the person that is lost in the world of consciousness of mind mind always wants you to move because mind cannot exist when it doesn't move have you ever seen a silent mind no it doesn't exist so it it urges you to go on move move but awareness is aware of that and there is your freedom that is the bliss of knowing knowing about what's going on in this play of the mind because the world the creation is only a play in your mind your mind needs to have something to be to, to be, to exist. If in the deep sleep, you, your dreamless sleep, there is no mind there, it doesn't exist. And what is happening in your deep sleep? What is passing by in your dreamless state? Nothing. <laughs> but you say it is the greatest bliss because it's when you don't have sleep, you couldn't live, you couldn't wake up in the day. You need the peace of that nothingness to be able to go on in the day with all the things the, the, the thingsness <laughs> somethingness and that's mind but as soon as you start to understand what mind does to you you are slowly becoming um, conscious that, that it's always something that makes you go in that world of the mind. The mind is the world and the world we think the world is there, I am here and I need to go in the world because I want to do and I, we don't think it's not really that world there where you go. It's just you disappear in your mind. 
and the mind makes images of all oh, nice weather. I go to the to the, the lake swimming, or I go to have a good time because it's nice. That's that's not real there. It's not really existing. It's your mind that fools you. You follow like uh, unaware, oblivion, uh, unknowing slave. You have no idea what mind does to you. But all the time, deep inside is this, behind and beyond all this, is this awareness that is aware of the mind doing that to you. And then there starts this, oh, I want to be free of that mind. I don't want to hear it anymore. But you have given it so much power all those years and lives. It doesn't disappear in the, in the blank of an eye. No, no, no. You have to rewind all the things that you have done and and. Uh, maybe faults or, or bad things you have to that's karma and you have to clean it so it can take quite a while but all the time there is this awareness aware of you doing that all is in the play of the mind so if you understand that you don't need to go through all this uh, karma cleaning because then it is done in a blink of an eye if you really understand deeply I am not that I am this freedom I am free of all the movements of my mind it was not real it was just an imagination it was a movie it was a it was a, a play on the stage on the screen of my mind and I don't see that mind anymore because I don't fill it up with images then you are in the real reality of yourself which is empty of all that and then there's no more karma all of a sudden gone like Ramana Maharshi said if you have a bin full of dirt you can take out each piece of dirt one by one by one and you are quite busy and you will be filthy and tired but if you are really knowing what you are, you turn over the bin and the dirt is gone in one. And that's when you understand really deeply what you are. That's the bliss of knowing. But some people go step by step. It's okay. Everybody will reach the freedom of the self because it is already there. You cannot miss it. Only you can leave it as long as you want to play in the, the, the play of the mind. The mind says, oh, this is nice. And then, oh, this is, uh, feels sorrow. Oh, I like it. Oh, I feel bad. If you want to go on playing then, well, that's possible. It's all possible. But every act of you is known by the deep awareness in you. And there is this freedom. So go on with your doings every day, but there is the awareness doing, seeing it, and then there is no more attachment. There is no more I that says, I am the person, I do it, I am good, I am... No, that's blah, blah, blah. You are that awareness. Now, free of it. Now, and still all goes on. There are people that don't understand really what it is, awareness. They mix it up with consciousness, being conscious that is, you are conscious of a, an object or an understanding something, you are conscious, you know it, there is this you. But awareness has nothing to do with you, with the person, or with something. You can be aware of something, then it is like consciousness, it, is content, it has content, but awareness itself is empty. 
It has nothing to do with the form, with your body, with, with incarnation. It is awareness is aware. It's being aware of awareness. Does the breath need proof? Breathing itself is proof and being aware is proof of being aware. Consciousness is a sort of intelligence that we, we have inside, it's inside us. And when you think you understand something, it is not you. You are the tool of consciousness understanding itself and growing, opening up to its own knowing. Like the pen on the table, it is used for writing words on a paper. But the, the pen can never say, I write words on a paper. So this consciousness is using you. Your mind is a, a tool. And consciousness is using that tool for opening up to itself, to its own wisdom, to its own knowing. It has nothing to do with the person. The person is the tool of awareness. Awareness is empty by itself. And it is intelligence, but it is empty. And the consciousness that der uh, derives from awareness has the capacity to grow to its own wisdom of knowing knowing what it is, knowing what awareness is. And consciousness uses the mind that is in the people or in the, also in, in animal. Because a, a fox is very intelligent and it has a mind and consciousness in the fox uses the fox to go blah 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 huh? to find food and to be smart and well we know and monkeys but it uses also the human mind then it is more developed but the humans the person thinks i understand i am huh? you know it's me but <laughs> that's only this unawareness it's ignorance you are used by the knowing of consciousness. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with the person. It's how do you explain? You see, the mind doesn't even know how to explain it itself. It has to climb up to a high consciousness and from there is the knowing that descends in the mind and then the, the, the speaker can talk about but that the speaker the mind all instruments tools of consciousness consciousness grows to itself by growing by growing through insights and the insights appear after um, happenings experiences and also happenings and experiences use body the person is person is a tool the human is a tool every living being is a tool of that one intelligence that grows through all forms to its own awareness where it seems to be empty because it has understood everything when there is a problem and you understand the problem, the problem is understood, there is no more problem. <laughs> it's so easy. We are, we think we are important. And then there's the difference. I am better and more, I understand more than you. I have my diploma and I have my degrees and I am blah 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 but it is only that great all 
overpowering consciousness that diminishes itself in forms to understand their the, its own capacity. That's it's a it's a journey from unawareness to awareness, and it uses all forms. No using that you are very important. It uses your mind and it uses the mind of, of the neighbors and of the family and of the because there is only one knowing like the ocean is not different in the wave over there over the horizon or in the wave that's breaking at the shore it's always the same ocean and the, the, the waves say ha ah, look at me I am so big and high and at the same time it breaks it's not about the, the tool but the, that what uses the tool <coughs> sorry <coughs> God uses forms to discover God immediately there is this peace God uses you to know God. The pen is not important when it thinks it is writing itself. It's, mm, look at me, I write written these nice words and that's la- look what I can. No, the pen is the tool on the table waiting till it is used. And you, you form is slowly growing to that what uses this form. That is God being. The intelligence, the the knowing, the being. (laughs) So it makes you nothing as instrument but it makes you all as the user of that instrument. It's a question of feeling it. And there's this bliss, the bliss of knowing it will grow. Like the baby grows to the adult and then to the the old age, it is used by life. Life uses the baby to learn to walk and to speak and to go on and to 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 you to, to move. But the intelligence in that form is using the movements of the form to grow to its own totality. <laughs> then there is the same feeling of bliss and home it's <laughs> skull is vibrating of the bliss of knowing <laughs> that makes you happy you are not happy the form cannot be happy but the inside the bliss itself is happy God inside is happy it weren't for knowing God <laughs> happy happy I wish you all happiness that you can reach by understanding what you are, that you are growing to happiness. Be blessed. Attachment or liberation (laughs) only exists in your mind. There is nothing to be liberated. There is no one attached it's all in the mind it's all going from here to there through your mind to your thoughts that you have to change you have to be free you cannot go on like this because it's not f- it is a attachment if you f- if you do something with a goal then you wait for a result and then you put yourself in a in a waiting line <laughs> like uh, 
I'm now here and I want to be free. So I will meditate on freedom and then I wait and the freedom comes. But all this happens in freedom. <laughs> Awareness. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Awareness. <laughs> That's the only existing thing. Not a thing. It's being aware. Funny, funny, but also painful if you believe it, if you think I have to work hard. Whatever happens, don't fight it. If you love it or hate it, just let it pass. It is God's will that it happens. And if you don't fight it, you have the energy and the, the possibility to see it deeper because what happens will tell you something. It will teach you what you need to learn. And if you cannot find what it teaches you, then still it is telling you, just let it happen. It is God's will. And then you are in peace. <laughs> 